with Michael Popak, Legal AF. We got some new Matt Gates news. In particular, that the House Ethics Committee is seriously investigating whether he committed sexual misconduct with an underage girl. It's not over. In a bit of an unusual announcement about what they were and were not investigating, um, there's a new statement out by the House Ethics Committee, which, by the way, is one of the only committees in in the in Congress that is split equally, equal number of Republicans and Democrats for a reason. Um, and so here's what their their new um, declaration is about what is and is not being investigated uh, related to Matt Gates. Um, so here's what they said: the committee is reviewing allegations that Representative Gates may have engaged in sexual misconduct and illicit drug use, accepted improper gifts, dispensed special privileges and favors to individuals with whom he had a personal relationship, and sought to obstruct government investigations of his conduct. The committee said that the allegations made against Gates, specifically those of him sharing inappropriate images or videos on the House floor, misusing state identification records, improper personal use of campaign funds and accepting a bribe were no longer being investigated. So they basically split the world in half. They said the sexual misconduct and illicit drug use, which all goes back to an under, uh, at the time, an underage girl uh, that he transported across state lines and out of the country for which his uh, wingman, um, who was a, a tax assessor in Seminole County, Florida, is in jail and has been cooperating with the federal prosecutors about the case. Remember, the feds announced about a year ago that they were dropping, and this is the Joe Biden, uh, Biden Department of Justice under Merrick Garland. They were no longer pursuing criminal charges against Matt Gates. Of course, he crowed about that, but he wasn't out of the woods with the House Ethics Committee. You may also remember, or I'll tell you here straight, Matt Gates has been at war with uh, who used to be the uh, House Speaker under MAGA, Kevin McCarthy. And even to the last gasp of his last moment, when he finally left Congress, there has been a battle between Gates and McCarthy, Gates believing that McCarthy put the committee up to it. But this is, a, like I said, this is a bipartisan committee. Um, the committee statement came a day after Gates issued uh, a uh, something preemptively, apparently, on X, his Twitter account, in which he accused the committee of frivolous investigations into him and compared its tactics to the Soviet Union. He said, and I quote, the House Ethics Committee has closed four probes into me, interesting choice of words, interesting visual, which emerged from lies intended solely to smear me. Uh, uh, smear me. Instead of working with me to ban congressional stock trading, the Ethics Committee is now opening new frivolous investigations, and they're doing this to avoid the obvious fact that every investigation into me ends the same way, my exoneration. He added, this is Soviet, and here's the Kevin McCarthy reference. Kevin McCarthy showed them the man, and they are now trying to find the crime. I work for Northwest Floridians who won't be swayed by this nonsense and McCarthy and his goons know it. Um, that is that relationship that led to uh, McCarthy being toppled last October um, in, in a coup that was led by Gates. No other way to put it. Um, and so the uh, committee acknowledged in their statement about what they are and are not investigating that Gates denied the allegations, but that he had been less than fully cooperative. And they complained that they had found as a committee, it was very difficult to obtain relevant information from him and others. Um, and just so we know, and just to, to uh, uh, hone in on this, um, in March 2021, the Department of Justice was investigating Gates about whether he had sex with a 17-year-old girl and paid for her to travel with him um, and then eventually it had been opened by Bill Barr, but it was eventually closed, that investigation, under the Biden, uh, Merrick Garland uh, Department of Justice. Um, now, of course, the committee could reauthorize its own investigation and make another recommendation to the Department of Justice, depending upon uh, what they find. 
But, you know, we have a very peculiar set of wheels spinning here, and I wanted to bring it to your attention right here on this particular hot take. As a full-time lawyer and podcaster, it seems everywhere I go, the coffee's terrible. And when I'm going to court, or even just going somewhere in my neighborhood, it's hard to find a good cup of joe. I've tried bringing portable coffee makers with me, but they either taste like crap or they don't travel well. The only coffee maker that makes great travel coffee is AeroPress. And now they've introduced a complete travel system. Their newest innovation, the AeroPress Go Plus, is the first product that makes great tasting coffee using a brewing system that was designed for life on the go. It's a travel coffee revelation. AeroPress Go Plus is a complete travel coffee solution. It's a coffee brewing system that makes the world famous AeroPress brew using a customized tumbler you can drink from and store your coffee maker in when you're storing or traveling with it. All the other travel coffee makers out there either make bad coffee or don't travel well, and none of them allow you to make coffee directly into a tumbler that you can pack your coffee maker right back into before you go. The AeroPress Go Plus finally allows me to have great coffee while I'm doing A, going to B. And it does it all in like two minutes. It's the first time I feel I can have great coffee wherever I go, no matter what I'm doing. AeroPress combines the best qualities of a few coffee brewing methods into one cup. A little French press, a little pour over, and a little espresso all in one cup. It's the best cup of classic coffee you'll ever drink. And we've got an incredible offer for our audience on Go Plus. Visit arrowpress.com slash legal AF. That's A-E-R-O-P-R-E-S-S dot com slash legal AF. And use the promo code legal AF to save 20% off your order. That's arrowpress.com slash legal AF. And be sure to use code legal AF at checkout to save 20%. It's time to say goodbye to crappy coffee and yes to better adventures fueled by better coffee. We thank Arrowpress for sponsoring our show. You've got this unusual site of the of the ethics committee, which is bipartisan, basically saying, well, there were four probes into some other abuses of power and public corruption by Matt Gates that we've closed. But still, you know, th that's the problem with potential facts and truth. It's a sticky thing, facts and truth, and Gates can't make them go away. And this uh, underage sex uh, with a girl problem of his continues to animate this particular investigation um, as led by the House Ethics Committee. Now, they've already said that they've spoken to dozens of witnesses, and I'm sure one of them is uh, Joel Greenberg, who was the wingman for him in the uh, Seminole County tax assessor, who also um, admitted and went to jail for using drugs and having sex with underage people. Uh, I mean, I don't know how he went to jail and Matt Gates avoided it. It's, it's very bizarre. But um, that committee that I just been describing issued, has issued 25 subpoenas and reviewed thousands of pages of documents and part of its um, long running investigation. It opened this investigation almost three years ago and it's still going on in that bipartisan way. But, you know, again, uh, at the intersection of law and politics, I'd be remiss if I didn't say his it's constituency, Gates's constituency in that northwest corner of Florida that he talks about, just like Marjorie Taylor Greene in her north whatever west corner of Georgia. Um, they don't care about whether their representative is moral, is ethical, commits public corruption, denies uh, the Jan 6th insurrection, is an election denier, insurrection denier, or any of that. Uh, they just don't. And the more that these investigations continue, it may lead to uh, maybe a reopening of the Department of Justice investigation, uh, criminal conviction. Uh, they don't care. Uh, we see what's happening. I mean, we'll know when I say they don't care. We'll know by the time November 5th rolls around, not by polling, but by people voting in the polls. We will know if the conviction of Donald Trump and his other criminal problems and fraud problems weighed and suppressed the vote that would have naturally gone to him and overcame Joe Biden's 
natural electoral advantage as both the incumbent and somebody who's presiding over you know, a very successful domestic and foreign policy and economic policy. So we will see, uh, you know, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting and we got to wait for that tasting until November 5th. At that time, we'll see, hmm, he lost, Donald Trump lost two, three, four, five points of Republican vote or of independent vote or of a constituency vote, the black vote, the Hispanic vote, the Jewish vote, the women vote, whatever it is, um, the senior vote, because of his troubles, because of his uh, moral and criminal failings. Matt Gates, similarly, we'll have to see how this seeps into the water supply and affects people's voting decisions. We don't know yet, but um, it is not a good sign. I don't, you know, in his whistling past the graveyard of posting, pardon me, and posting in his Twitter account, in his ex account, that <clears throat> that he's he's the subject of a witch hunt and this Russia and it's all McCarthy's behind it. McCarthy's not behind it. McCarthy's long gone from the Congress from Congress and from the House. This is a bipartisan committee that is like a dog with a bone, but they won't let go because the evidence is leading them into a certain path. Um, we'll have to find out what the Department of Justice does if the Ethics Committee uh, finds that there was sufficient a basis to censure, to recommend the censure and to censure Matt Gates for this um, underage sex with a minor uh, sexual misconduct you know it would be rape uh, and rape across state lines and out of the country which is also another problem under various criminal laws that have been on the books for a long long time but we got to continue to follow everything related to matt gates because it's important he has no moral authority although he acts like he does in his uh, bla uh brazen attacks on joe biden his ethics uh, doing the bidding for donald trump and we have to continue to um, x-ray somebody like Matt Gates and bring him to your attention so that you know who you're dealing with um, and when you have to make your voting decision. Um, and, and when you hear him uh, champion the cause of MAGA and, fl and fly the flag of MAGA, know who the, the, the flag uh, carrier is. Know who's holding that banner. And that's a guy who right now is on the precipice of being sanctioned for having sexual, uh, having committed sexual misconduct with a minor. We'll continue to follow it here on the Midas Touch Network and on Legal AF. And now you know why we called it Legal AF four years ago. We're the podcast at the intersection of law and politics. Join us every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. On Wednesdays, I do the show with Karen Friedman at Niffalo, former prosecutor. On Saturdays with my co-founder, Ben Micellis. And then on hot takes like this one, I don't know, about every hour. Uh, and you can pick us up on all major podcast platforms as well. Free subscribe to the Midas Touch Network. And if you're interested in all my work, go over to the Midas Touch YouTube. Look under playlists or contributors. Michael Popak and my entire 1,200 or so body uh, of work of videos is sitting right there. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legal AF. That's patreon.com slash legal AF.